Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Petapixel, and if you're interested in video at all, then you need a dual microphone wireless system, but there's so many. Like just in the last few months, we've seen five of these things come out, so I'm gonna help you decide what might be the right one for you. Look, usually I don't like to interrupt myself, but if you're watching this video already, you care about sound. Not just sound from a microphone, but also music and sound effects. And that's why I need to tell you about a great offer from our friends at Audio that's exclusive to Petapixel viewers. So here's the deal. You can get lifetime access to all of not only Audio's great music library, but also their wonderful sound effects library as well. And sound effects are great. You can use things like this or that or even this, I suppose. I mean, think about it. You're never gonna have to pay for music or sound effects again. And this is a big deal because audio has never bundled their music and sound effects together. So how much is this gonna cost you? Well, typically this would go for $7.99, but we're offering it for $2.99, less than half price. That is an absolutely insane deal. And click on our link in the description below to take advantage of it. Look, audio is absolutely one of the most important things when we're making a YouTube video. So I want a solution that is absolutely rock solid that I can depend on. And for the last little while, I have been using the Sennheiser EWDP wireless system, which has been absolutely fantastic. We've never had a dropout or any issues with it. So that's the system that you're hearing the audio from right now. And while this is an absolutely bulletproof audio solution, it does have some real limitations. It's fairly bulky. The transmitter uses double A's, which I absolutely hate traveling with. And most importantly, it's just a single transmission system. So if we're doing interviews or something like that, I'll need two complete audio units. So because of that, I've really been testing a lot of compact dual channel wireless systems. And that brings us to the topic of today's video. We've got five of them at a very wide variety of price points, but they do all have something in common. For starters, these are dual transmission to a single receiver that you can plug into your camera or phone. They all have a charging case and on the transmitters, they also have built-in microphones so you can use them as a mic without having to plug a separate lavalier microphone into them. Okay, so if you look at my chest here, you can see that I've switched over to one of the transmitters from the Ceremonic Blink 500B2 Plus. Really easy names to remember for these. And this is our most affordable option. $130 and you're getting two transmitters, receiver charging case, all that stuff that I mentioned before. But I mean, you can hear probably immediately this is the tiniest of the audio that we've gotten out of these. I just find not a whole lot of warmth to the audio coming out of it. To leave out any sort of drop in filter situation in the back. Now that does save you a little bit of engineering, certainly some weight as well. This kit does even include a couple of fuzzy windscreens with it and mounting it is actually really easy, which is not the case with some of the other mics that we're gonna look at a little bit later here. And because this is the weakest audio of all of them, it is a real shame that there is no 3.5 millimeter input. So I can't plug just like a cheap lav in there if I want to increase the sound quality. But the biggest drawback to this is the interface on the receiver. There's only two buttons on it, one of which is the power button. Look at this manual here. You're gonna to have to go through all of these different combinations to remember how to change which setting. And it's something you're gonna to have to use this quite a bit before you memorize it. Otherwise you gotta walk around with a piece of paper like it's 1974. Look, at this price, I'm not expecting any miracles. And if you're looking for just a very entry level audio solution, it's certainly better than using the built-in microphone on your camera or smartphone. All right, next, if you look at my chest, you can see the transmitter for the Hollyland Lark M2 Duo. And this is only $30 more than the Ceremonic setup that we looked at, but it does have some really nice advantages, although a few annoyances as well. For starters, the built-in microphones on this, I actually found quite impressive. They sounded really nice when Chris first clipped them on outside. Because this is such a small compact lens, there's not a lot of real estate for a whole bunch of accoutrements. We don't have as well. It's just very, very compact on there. This does include windscreens as well, but I've got to say, this is the most frustrating windscreen device I have ever seen. You have to kind of like slide it over top of the unit, but there's not a lot of wiggle room. It's like having the world's smallest mattress cover. And then after you actually get it on, you might realize like, oh, wait a second, I don't know. See that little pickup? That should be pointed at your mouth. But when you put the windscreen on, you can't see where that is anymore. So then you have to take the stupid thing off fight with it again after trying to remember where that's gonna be. And if you take it off, you're gonna to have to remove the windscreen again, find out which way the direction is pointing. Anyway, 
I'm getting flustered because it was infuriating and that's my biggest problem with this system. Now it's a good thing that there's a nice microphone built into the transmitters here because they're so small, there's just no room to have a 3.5 millimeter plug so you can plug other microphones into it. Now looking at the receiver, I would say this is an advantage over the Saramonic in that it's got two buttons, but also a dial that you can use to adjust the output volume. That's really nice, but there's no LCD on it. So you'll need to download the Lark Sound app. As well, I should say that the wheel on this is a little bit fiddly. I can see it being very easy to accidentally brush it and now your audio is too hot or too quiet. All that being said though, if I'm just looking for like two transmitters and all in one system, I think it's definitely worth the premium over the Saramonic and this is the kit I'd buy for under $200. All right, come with me, it's time to hit the road. God help me. Uh, really this entire trend of having these really small wireless microphones with compact charging stations started with the Rode Wireless Go. And now that we've got the Rode Wireless Go Pro, we've seen some real advantages. For starters, on both of the transmitters, they can also record internal 32-bit float audio. So that gives you tons of room to adjust it in post. And you don't even need a receiver if you don't want. You can just record right onto the device. As well, this has proper time code. So like really professional features on these. And we used these microphones for months and we did have some issues and it really just comes down to the transmission on them. When we were shooting at Apple Park where there's just tons of wireless systems, we weren't able to get Chris more than a couple feet away from the camera before we'd lose the signal. And we ran into a similar issue when we were recording with the DJI Ronin 4D, which has a lot of wireless functionality as well. I just found sometimes it could be a little bit unreliable. That's where it's great that it has the internal recording, but if you're planning to use it as a proper wireless system, there are still some limitations to it. Now, I happen to like the sound that comes off of these little transmitters here, but if you're not crazy about it, then it's great that we get a three and a half millimeter microphone input and it's threaded, so you're not accidentally gonna tug it out. The Rode Go Pro has a really easy to use menu system with a display and a couple of control buttons, but if you wanna access the more advanced features, there you're gonna to have to go to the Rode Central app. The Go Pro, Go Pro, that's a silly name. The wireless Go Pro kit is quite complete as well. You're gonna get lavalier microphones with it as well that you can plug in, and it does come with windscreens. Now, the original wireless Go windscreen is one of the worst designs I've ever seen, so they brought out a new design which is slightly better, but still kind of infuriating. I find it very fiddly to attach the windscreens to this. But this is overall a very nice system, even though we have had some issues with interference on it. And if you're in an environment like multi-camera or live music where time code is gonna be useful, this is the clear winner. Okay, for basically the same price as the Rode we just talked about, you can get the DJI Mic 2. What a great name. Why can't all of these products just have nice, simple, easy to remember names like that? And I do really like this system. So for starters, I do find there's a nice little bit of warmth. Now a modern autofocusing system like this is also using subject detection. Now we don't have all the same subject detection modes. Good sound with just the included microphones here, but if you do want better audio, it does have a three and a half millimeter jack, although it's not threaded like the Rhodes. If you're out in the wind, this comes with a windscreen and it actually clips on beautifully, just plugs right into the three and a half millimeter mic jack there, super easy to do. And you could go out with just the transmitters with this because they do give the option to record audio internally. It's 32-bit float audio, just like what we saw with the Rode. But also you can use this as a Bluetooth microphone. So you can just run it straight into your phone. It'll treat it as a Bluetooth mic, or you can run it into some recent cameras like the latest GoPro or the DJI Pocket cameras. Just use it that way without even needing a receiver. But you're gonna wanna bring the receiver with you because I love the receiver on this. It has a physical dial to adjust audio levels, but there's also a touchscreen interface. Again, very well laid out. And one other small thing I really appreciate is DJI has put some haptic feedback into these. So when you power them on and off, you'll feel a little bit of a buzz and that'll let you know if you've accidentally bumped the power button and disabled your transmitter. Really smart stuff. And the big standout with the DJI to me is that we've been using it in some very demanding environments like the Samsung Galaxy launch with tons of potential interference. And we haven't had a signal drop even when Chris is quite far away from the camera. It's just proven to be a very reliable system and it's an absolute pleasure to use. Okay, you probably can barely even see it. We've switched over to the Sure, move mic, and there are a few different kit configurations with this, which is really important to understand. So you can get this with a single transmitter 
or two transmitters or the kit that we're using, which is two transmitters and a receiver. And that's the most expensive of the options that we're talking about here today. But this is kind of designed to be used a little differently than the other systems that we've talked about. So if you get the single transmitter or dual transmitter kits, you can just wirelessly run those right into your smartphone. And there are other microphones that'll let you use the transmitters as a Bluetooth mic. But what's really interesting, it's using the Bluetooth protocol, but these are sending very little compressed high quality audio right into your phone. The limitation there is you do have to use their app. Now for me, when I'm shooting on my iPhone recording video, I'm pretty much always using the Blackmagic app, so that could be a real limitation. But if you're a musician or something and you just wanna get high quality audio in with a very basic video interface, this is an absolutely awesome system. And I do have to say, this is the best audio quality that we've got off of any of the transmitters on this. Just has a real pleasant warmth to it. Mostly on the dark setting, just a little bit below the neutral setting. And it's not just the sound that I love on these transmitters. The design is really, really smart. It's just leaving the clip on the outside. Most of the actual electronics actually go underneath your shirt, which helps make it nice and discreet. It does include windscreens and these clip on very simply and very effectively. And they are much smaller than what we've seen with all the other systems that we've looked at here. But let's say you wanna run this into a camera or you wanna use another app on your phone. There you'll need the receiver kit. Now this does really feel like an extra, for example, there's not a charging case that has both transmitters and a receiver. You'll have to charge the receiver separately. And what a receiver it is. You've got a big, beautiful LCD display on it. It has an actual joystick for navigating the very well laid out menus that you'll be running through. You've got a headphone out as well as your line out that you can plug into your camera or phone. And it's very well built. I love that we've got a steel hot shoe mount that you can tilt to make it easier to see the display instead of awkwardly leaning over the top of your camera, which I find I have to do all the time. So if you do get the dual transmitter and receiver kit, this is the most expensive option that we've looked at. But in terms of the audio quality that's just coming right off the transmitters, this is the best we've seen. And I should mention as well, part of that price is that these are extremely durable. They're actually IPX4 rated, where we don't have weather sealing ratings on any of the other kits that we've looked at. But it has a major downside, which is you better love the audio coming off of these transmitters because there's no way to plug another lavalier microphone or accessory microphone into these. So there you have it, five completely different wireless systems. And we actually managed to keep the video to a somewhat reasonable length. And I have to say for myself personally, when I need a small travel kit, I'm really gonna be kind of bouncing between the Shure and the DJI. I love the sound of the Shure microphones, but a lot of the time we're plugging a lavalier microphone in. And for that reason, I think the DJI is the most flexible system, but it's still crazy that we can get such professional sound at these very affordable prices. And hopefully this video helped you decide which price you should be looking at to get the features that you need for your own content creation. But thank you so much for joining us, and I would love to hear your thoughts on all the different wireless microphones, especially how they sounded. In the comments below, let me know, and let me know if there's other audio solutions that we should be looking at. And if you want to hear more of my voice, and Chris's voice, and my friend Jaren's voice, you should check out the Petapixel podcast. You can watch it right here on our YouTube channel or on all your favorite podcasting apps. Just search for the Petapixel podcast. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you all again soon with more on Petapixel.